River, was lucky enough to get booked for a Main Street Live, and I thought, let's just do like a tribute night and get a bunch of people here. So we're gonna do a Rolling Stones tribute night. We're gonna have 15 or 20 artists and just do Rolling Stones all night long. Why the Rolling Stones? They've been around for 50 plus years, and every everybody has a Rolling Stones song they like. I mean, even if you don't like the 60s Stones, you like the 80s or the 70s. And I felt like it spreads, you know, the age group from teenagers to 70-year-olds. It was just a perfect match for me. Plus, I'm a big Stones fan. The Moon Dogs are going to be playing. The Pure and Simple Band are going to be here. Uh, Chris from the Coal Town Dixie is going to be here. Just all kinds of guys. My cow, some guys from Floyd County that play in different bands. So I just wanted to get a collection of guys that never really usually play together, put them together, let's learn some songs, and uh, that way the takeaway is we've all kind of, you know, we know more musicians, you know, it's, it's a bigger thing, it's better. In a small town you need things going on so everybody can show up, you know, network, have a good time, see friends and family, and Fightful, you know, this area is just the center of Fightful, and music, arts, I mean, everybody loves that. A good thing. I hope that people see this and they go, man, I'd like to be in the next one. And then they get a hold of some of these guys and they know someone and they're like, they want to be involved and or want to do their own thing. You know, maybe it'll spark some interest and people can do a tribute kind of show in another community somewhere. You know, um, me and Tony have been really good friends for a long time, and uh, he asked us to come out and uh, learn a few songs to try to help help out and we was more than happy to it's one of my favorite bands there's a bunch of bands playing uh, Rolling Stone songs all the hits we're doing uh, uh, Dead Flowers Can You Hear Me Knocking a few other ones Tony's bands playing Kevin Harmon's here so I think to get everybody out after the last few years we've all had it's good to get out and see people and you know be at a live event, not on your phone all the time, it, it kind of brings a sense of community, everybody getting together, so I like that a lot. Me and my drummer uh, have been friends since high school, and then Jay started playing with me about six years ago now, and we've been playing for maybe five or six years, so just got started that way, uh, friends from high school, and, and then moved back and started playing. It feels great to be asked to uh, represent the area and uh, the community, and we're all really excited to uh, try to put on a good show for everybody if we can. I like to come every time that I'm off work, so I love that they have this event, and I love being able to come when I can. Literally my favorite thing is being able to sit outside, drink a beer, and be able to listen to live music. I love that I was able to have my friends that live, they live an hour away, so they came and visited me, and I love being able to have them visit me and be able to come to an event like this. It's absolutely an event for anyone. It's of all ages, you can come, and it's just fun being able to just sit outside and listen to live music, so. I think events like this are important to the community because people can come here and gather and there and it's awesome that there's something to do because I think a lot of times people say that there's nothing to do but stuff like this like gives them a great way to get outside and be able to sit down and just enjoy themselves. I always have fun whenever I get to come here and I, I really, like I said, I love being able to sit down and be outside and listen to live music. And I like that it gives a chance for like local bands to come and like have a venue to play at. I think it's a good experience for, I mean, literally everybody.